music and let's plays and a couple other things such as skits and vid blogs. Also, sometimes I sing. This sums up the controller show. Shut up. Oh, damn. Nice. Wow, that is loud. That is a loud, uh... I don't know why I plugged in headphones. Oh, right, yeah, I have to record my voice. That's important. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so new to recording console stuff. Sigh. Let's start. Well, hello everyone! I am the controller, and, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna upload this. <laughs> but, uh, this is my, uh, this is my first console game video. Um, I'm playing this on my 360 over there. You can't see it, but you can see my screen. And um, hopefully the camera isn't too close to my face. I think this is about how close I usually have my face to the camera for my uh, computer. So anyways, welcome to Quiet Please. This is a indie game that came out, gosh, maybe like two or three years ago. Like it's it's pretty old. It was a, it's an indie game. And uh this girl just wants everything to be quiet, right? She just she just wants some peace and quiet, and she doesn't want to deal with any of uh yeah. Finally, home. She just wants some peace and quiet. Uh, but that is our goal of the game is to make everything quiet. Uh, this game was a dollar. As a matter of fact, I think you can still get this, and I think there's a uh, a Christmas version. Mr. Peabody is always mowing. He's so annoying. Well, pet dog. I don't think he likes me. Okay, I've played this like. Whoa. Okay, sorry about that weird cut, everybody. Um, I, uh, <laughs> it was, um, my, uh, my awesome uncle Nate, also known as, uh, Under Drummer. I'll, I'll leave a link to, uh, his channel in the description. He was, he helped me set up the, uh, Elgato game capture, um, so that I could record Xbox, and he, uh, I forgot to hang up, and, uh, his phone just kind of left him on the line, so when he got done talking to who, who he was talking to, um, it just, I, there was this noise coming from my phone, <laughs> and uh, I finished the conversation with him, and it was it was great. But anyways, back to <laughs> back to the game. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically your whole goal in this game is to try and make every single sound in the game just quiet. So like sabotage lawnmower, uh, and she says I loved you, but he'd see me. And uh, this is just a really simple puzzle game, and you're trying to make everything quiet. So like turn TV off. But dad turns it back on, so we gotta figure out how what to do about that. Um, uh, mom's on the phone again. She's so noisy, and the girl pretty much just tells you whatever is is noisy. But some things they don't make, you know, she doesn't make the most clear. Uh, you can pick up stuff. Like I picked up the steak, um, and I'm pretty sure I can go and give that to the dog. So I'm gonna go and do that. Um, there's dad there, just kind of slumping. Drop steak. Give it to the dog. All right, he's busy eating, so now the dog won't be won't be uh, barking around and stuff. Um, so now I actually don't remember what we do next. All right, we can turn the water on. I think we need to find a vase or a vase, a vase. Sorry, we can put some water in it. Take comic book. I remember what to do with that, but I don't know where I do it. Is it down here? I don't think it's down here. No, it's not. Okay, we need that. Yeah, I could squeeze back there, but ick, too dirty for me. All right, so. Yeah, um, let's just leave this here. That's also a big part of this game, is just leaving shit around the place. And, um, just finding out where you need other stuff. Um, and you can only hold one item at a time, so... Oh, there's our baby brother up there. You can see him up in the top right. He'll probably run back in a second. Or not. Where is he? Come on. There he is. Alright. So, yeah, he's super noisy. We gotta, we gotta put him to, um... I think we have to give him the comic book. So, let's go back down and grab that comic book, and, yeah, grab that. I actually forgot why I, I think I already said this, but I actually forgot why I put on a headset, because I, I wasn't filming on my, oh, finish your homework before you go upstairs, oh, okay. I don't even have homework, I have to distract it somehow. Um, okay, well, let's put the comic book on the table. Uh, oh, here's the vase, we, we need that, um... Now remember, we fill it with water, and then we, there's even a little filling with water sound. Turn off the sink, because that's noisy. I'm pretty sure your care she'll even comment on the fact that you left the sink running, and that it's noisy. Um, 
So we need to turn on the sprinkler and then sabotage lawn mower. So now he won't be mowing his lawn because we're a little brat and we're just shunned everything off regardless of whether or not someone was using it. Um, window, satellite. Um, oh, this is where we get the wine. Okay, we give this to the mom. Uh, let's open this up because this is helpful to have open. Because if that's not open, then when we... It opened up a shortcut, basically. Uh, put it on the table. Thanks, honey. Go on upstairs if you like. Um, uh, open door. There's a bunch of cats. I don't want kins right now. I just want peace and quiet. I don't know what that picture is. I always wondered what that was. It must be from another game that the creators made. I actually don't remember who made this. Uh, n no static soft. That's what it was. Um, quiet, please. Yeah, okay. Wait, more games? What? Block zombies. Oh, you know what? I actually downloaded this game. This game's pretty cool. Uh, Toonscape. Alright, anyways. I'm getting sidetracked. Bleh. Alright. Uh, so we need to quiet up these kitties. Um, oh, we can go grab the comic book now. Uh, now that mom is busy with, uh, with a glass of wine. Um, so let's take the comic book and take this on upstairs to give to our baby brother. Hello, brother. Take comic book. Oh. Take dirty pajamas, and if we try to put these on him, he'll he'll just say, uh, oh. Okay, so when he gets the comic book, hey, that's from Kung Fu Fight, or the, the other game that they were talking about. Um, so we need to take this down. I remember what we need to do. This this whole game is pretty much just backtracking. That's all over the house. So um, let's take this and put this in the washing machine. Boop. Nope, not without some detergent in there. Okay, we'll drop that there. Oh, no. No, I don't want to race. I don't want to race right now, brother. Are you going to get out of here? I don't want to deal with you. I, I don't I don't feel like racing. Uh, let's get... Uh, take your remote control car. Yeah, you can tickle him. I don't remember what you... Oh, so you can get him to let go of what he's holding. Okay, yeah, I remember doing that. Um... I'm sure you notice there's not a lot, there's no music in this in this game, and I guess that goes along with the theme of trying to make everything quiet. Um, uh, but, yeah. Very quiet game. Uh, let's go grab the detergent. I think that's what I, oh, oh, I remember what I do. I get him to go back there and pick that up. Yep. Okay, now I can tickle him and get the, uh, get, get the item. So now I can drop this. And then uh, pick up a box of detergent, put a box of detergent in the washing machine, and then put the dirty pajamas in there. If I can pick it up, if I cannot be the worst thing ever. Alright, I think that's kind of impossible for me not to do that, though. Alright, wash pajamas. Okay, that'll wash. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to stop the clock. And I think you get the key in the parents' room? I think that's what it is. Okay, now clean, wet pajamas. Now let's put the pajamas in the dryer. Um, so where should we go next? Oh, right. We're going to put these pajamas on our baby brother so he can go to sleep. No, I don't want to play. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to put these on you. On brother. Okay, so let's take him back up to his room. Uh, and I think... What you doing with those clean pajamas? Um, so now... Yep, I'll get on that. I put the pajamas on him. And then now, uh, I'm going to bed. Aw, he's reading it. Oh, and I always thought this was a really cute touch. If you leave and come back. Oh, what? There he is. Now he's asleep. Aw, cute. Um, okay, so now we got to take care of these cats. Um, the door's locked. Uh, I don't actually remember how to get in there. Oh, we need the ladder. Okay, I remember now. So... Uh, we need the lamp for later. That's pretty much at the end of the game, which isn't too far from now, because this game is not long at all. As a matter of fact, I think I even made it an effort to speedrun this game, and I beat it in, like, seven minutes. And, um, it's not a bad ending game. It's actually, uh, I would be proud of this if I made this. Um, okay, so now we need the lamp, because now we can go up there and we can go see all that there is to see and do all there is to do. Uh, in the land of the blue kangaroo. I don't... That's from Practical Jokers, if you've never seen it. Um, uh, okay. I like that show a lot. I, I can, uh, I can see why. You know, a lot of people won't like it. I mean, like, 
It is like a hidden camera like prank show, but I think I enjoy it because of like the people that's on it. Like I like uh, hearing about the different uh, people that they are and uh, just seeing them kind of be friends and just screw with each other. Now that I have a screwdriver, it's especially uh, uh, my brain just died. I don't remember what that other word was gonna be, but it's not there. <laughs> All right, so screwdriver. Um, I don't actually remember what you do with the screwdriver. I'll leave that on the table for now, because I don't remember what I do with that, but I do know that we can use the bar ball of yarn, because we do need that. Uh, oh, I remember what to do. I remember now. And so we can turn off the TV. We use the ladder to get up on the roof and turn off the satellite. I remember that. Okay. Um, yeah, I've played this tons of tons of times, so. Aw, kitties. Cute! Little cats. Um, so... Okay, we'll do it. We don't need the lamp anymore. Oh, we need the ladder. Can't forget that. And somehow I take this whole ladder and my parents just don't don't question it. I guess mom's having a glass of wine over there, so I guess that's a that's a thing. Um, so let's go out. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the house. Darn it. Okay, so now let's go back over to this side and we're going to disable the satellite. I don't know... I don't know why, like, I, I understand wanting peace and quiet, but this is a little bit much. I mean, you're shutting everything off, and, you know, it's, I don't know, it seems, our character seems like a little bit of a brat, but I guess, you know, it's it's a video game, it's like, whatever. Alright, baby bear is asleep. Baby boy, uh, we just got a glass of wine, uh, we gotta turn off the clock, and now we need the screwdriver. Okay. So now... Uh, I guess we can just go out this way. I mean, it's a longer walk, but we can get there. Okay, so we can get through the window somehow. I don't remember how we get through the window, but we have to climb through the window in order to get... Yeah, short out TV antenna with the screwdriver. Now, uh, now we don't have the screwdriver anymore. And now, yeah, Dad's asleep. Drop the TV. Um, I think it even has a static noise. Yeah. Oh, now it's nighttime. Oh, does that mean we've completed all of our stuff? Is that what that means? Did I do it? I don't think I did. That clock will drive me nuts. Okay, so, yeah, she'll tell you. Um, so, how do we get into the parents' room? I actually don't remember that. Um, can we climb through? Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay. Hey, could you get on the roof from here? Oh my gosh, I actually have never done that. Let's try that. Let's go back and grab the ladder and see if we can climb up on the roof. I don't think I've ever done that before. Um, I really want to see if you can, because I've never, ever done that. I'd honestly be amazed if I let you do that. Um, drop ladder. Nope, they won't let you. Darn it! Ugh, come on, well, let me climb up on the roof. You can hide something up there. Hide an Easter egg. All right, uh, take clock key, um, and then I don't think there's anything left to do in here other than have the clock key. I don't know why the parents have a clock key in here. I mean, why not just have it, like, next to the grandfather clock? All right, unlock grandfather clock, open, stop pendulum. Cool. Neat. Now we can, uh, go to bed. Yay. And there we go. That is quiet, please. Um, not the best indie game ever, but I like it. I mean, I remember playing that over and over, trying to beat it as fast as I could, and um, I like it. I like the art style, and it's really simplistic, and it reminds me of something that I would probably like to do. Just a really simple game with a really simple goal, and there's no... The, the, I, I don't know. It's just very simple, and I think that's why I like it, is because it's just a simple little indie game um, that doesn't have really any depth to it. It's just kind of like, you know, it's a little puzzle game, you solve the puzzle, and then she falls asleep. That's the that's the thing. <laughs> Some people may be like, oh, well, you know, there could have been longer. I mean, I spent a dollar on this. I shouldn't be able to beat it in seven minutes. But I don't know. I mean, this probably didn't take, like, the shortest amount of time. This probably took a while for, um... For these people to make this. I didn't even see how many people made it. I can't scroll up or anything. Um, but yeah, these are all the people who I guess followed the the game while it was being uh, developed. Um, I hope these guys are still doing stuff. Um, 
Uh, they might be on Steam or anything. Uh, I guess if they have a website, I'll link it in the description. And if they don't, well, there's nothing I can really do about it. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, this was my first console game. All right. Oh, that's all, folks. Thank you for playing. Thank you for your purchase. And then more games. And then these are their uh, their other games: Avatar, Pinball, uh, Block Zombies. You know. Yeah. That's cool. Um, but uh, yeah, this was my first console game. I uh, I I hope it went well. I would like to uh, show off some old Minecraft worlds that I made, but uh, turns out uh, Minecraft has a gigantic update for it, so I might have to do that while I'm doing something else. That way I don't have to sit there and wait for it to update, because I haven't updated it in a long, long time. So, <laughs> finally, for real this time, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!